Two friends and a chat. Two friends and a chat. Two friends and a chat. <laughs> See here. Well, let me make sure we're still recording before we jump in here. Always got a babysit OBS. I got volume going, so that's good. We're recording. All right. Let's mm. jump back over here. All right, so you, well, you're at uh, 30 days now? You reached your 30-day mark? <clears throat> Today is day 31. I hit, I did hit my goal. I was down 30 pounds uh, on day 30, 30 pounds. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, through day yesterday. It would have been my morning way in today. would have been day 30 completed. 30 pounds, 30.8 pounds is what I was, uh, is what I'm down currently. Uh, but I'm not getting a DEXA scan until tomorrow, which is going to be day 32. And I'm really interested. Man, I'm fucking interested. What's my pace before we go on? Yeah, I got my average back up there because, again, I was just holding all that water from all the sodium. And what day was it? I just knew that I was losing all the sodium because I just lost, I just was peeing and peeing and peeing. I knew it all went. I think it was these two days is really where I, where I let loose there. And mm -hmm. I just I hadn't drank any water in hours, but then I just started peeing and peeing. Oh, and peeing. So the sodium finally finally left the system. Um, yeah, my birthday pace. I'm still a little behind what I wanted for my birthday pace, but I haven't started exercising yet. I'm going to start right. exercising on Tuesday. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, what is it? It should get up to 50. I'm just ahead of my 60-day pace, which, again, I haven't started exercising yet. Yeah, you're, so gonna, you're probably going to have to get, reach that mark now because right now it's just – No, look at, the, look at the weight I was losing. 2-2, 1-2, 1-8, 1-8. Yeah. And yesterday was 0. 0.6, but I have a theory about that. I didn't drink enough water. Oh. <laughs> so my water, well, I drank, a, I drank an electrolyte, electrolyte mix in the morning, potassium, magnesium, uh, just a little bit of salt. I drank that in the morning, and, and then I only drank one more thing of water all day, like 20 more ounces of water. And because of those electrolytes, you know, when, when your electrolytes go up, your body holds on to the water to balance it out. There has to be a balance in your blood between water uh, and electrolytes. So my body probably held on to it. I'm probably holding water right now. That's probably why I only lost 0. 0.6. But uh, yeah. I'll make sure and drink more water today. It should be over a pound again today. Um, but anyway, yeah, the, the sodium, it's really interesting here too because my, my clothes were fitting a lot looser than what my weight was, right? So like right here, I was 257.6, and that was, you know, really close to this day. But my belt buckle was completely different. It felt, or my belt loop the one that i went in the hole i went in was a lot the hole i went in got all up in there the hole i went in <laughs> <laughs> the hole i went in was was a completely different one right so my clothes are fitting differently my waist is smaller so it's really really interesting with this dexa scan tomorrow i can't i can't wait to see exactly how much fat i lost and how much muscle i lost right and also i want to know if i actually did lose 30 pounds because my scale in the dexa scan said two completely different things right the dexa scan said 281 yeah, the weight, the scale said 284. So I'm interested to see if I actually did lose 30 pounds and how much of that was fat, how much of that was muscle. I bet, I bet, it's going to show that I put on muscle, and that's going to be very fucking exciting if I put on muscle. Yeah, I mean, if your overall weight's down and you gain muscle. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And I what? And I'm going back to the exact same place, and it's the exact same technician on the exact same machine. You can't get any more accurate or. Uh, Expect it to be any more accurate than that. Same tech, same machine, same place, everything. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on tomorrow. That's where my weight. Did I have anything else? Oh, the sodium? No, the sodium. Um, oh, yeah, 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 snake diet guy. Dude, I think he's on to it. I think he's right. I think he's absolutely right. Oh, Cole? With, the, uh, with all the electrolytes, because there were times there when I wasn't taking in the electrolytes that I was getting weaker. And that's the whole thing why he says take in electrolytes. Oh, I believe I he's spot on with the electrolyte shit. We need the salts. Yeah. And I'm still a little deficient in sodium, but I got a, uh, no, I'm at, I should have pulled that up. I went and got my electrolytes tested and my magnesium level tested before I started the supplement just to see how good the supplement was going to be, how effective it was going to be in raising those, uh, raising those uh, different uh, levels, sodium, potassium, magnesium, the other stuff isn't um, isn't in the supplement I'm taking, but those three, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it tested again tomorrow and see how good that that went. And I want to see how low my sodium levels are because I'm guessing my sodium levels are low right now. Because well, like my like when I'm climbing, I live like if I do laundry at the place I live now, 
it's, the, the, it's in the basement. The laundry is in the basement, and I'm up on the third floor. So it's four sets sets of stairs, and my thighs start burning like they don't have enough. You know, like you get a mm, burn, right? And I th- I'm pretty sure that's because of electrolytes, and that's I think that's along the same lines of what Snake Diet guy says. I need to link him up, man. So well, we don't the, get a lot of views. What's yet, the supplement right? you're taking? Uh, it's a Doctor Berg supplement. Oh, it, okay. He's a keto guy on YouTube. Mm. Big keto guy on YouTube. He does a clean keto. Uh, you just make sure he stays in ketosis, but he eats like vegetables, uh, leafy greens, vegetables, berries, a lot low sugar stuff, and then meat, lots of meat and stuff. Okay. That's who Dr. Berg is. Anyway, uh, yeah, great information there uh, for Dr. Berg and Snake Diet guy. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that's right. And I can't wait to test the sodium levels tomorrow to see if if that's correct. Because if they're low, then obviously lower, ex- especially if they're lower than when when I got the test done originally, because there's a big difference between how I feel when I got the test done, when I still have that sodium in my system, and now. Mm-hmm. And I got to thinking about it, about that steak that I was telling you about. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I felt so fucking good after I ate that steak because I also had plenty of sodium. Oh, yeah, like right? the seasoning and stuff on No, it? no, no. No, but but I had been accidentally sodium loading for like the last three or four days. Not really ac- accidentally, but, but you know. I knew I was doing it, okay. but uh, yeah, I was coming off that dirty keto where I was eating all those canned meats and everything, and then mm-hmm. I ate that steak. And after I ate that steak, I felt fucking fabulous. Oh, I see. So I had all the the potassium or the sodium and, and electrolytes, other electrolytes there that I needed, but I just uh, and then that that just sent me over the edge right. of uh, feeling good was right. that big ass steak that I ate. It was like a pound grass fed sirloin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, cause you had all that sodium from the the canned stuff. Yeah, I had all the sodium in my system I needed. And now I'm not eating any of that stuff. I'm just eating the, the steak. That's all I'm eating. For the last four or five days, all I've eaten was a pound of pound sirloin every day. A little over some of them. Yeah. Uh, is that an electrolyte thing? But the sodium is not an electrolyte mix. But I, and I didn't want to add the sodium because I'm going to test that out when I get the blood work. Mm. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to eat dirty keto tomorrow. And then I'm going to get back on it on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm eating clean today. I'm going I don't want to eat before I go to the DEXA scan. I know they say it doesn't measure all that stuff, but I just I don't want to be right. I want to be certain that it's right. exactly what I weigh. Like pair apples to apples. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Loose clothes. Talks about that. Sodium. The DEXA scan. Yeah, I think that's my uh diet update for this time. Let's jump back over here and see what we can see. Uh yeah, I, I didn't have as big of a, a weight loss as I was anticipating. Uh, it was more even, right? I thought I was going to have a big day. Right. Uh, my biggest day was 2-2. Two, two. Two. Yeah, I actually anticipated a bigger day than that. I expected at least a 3-something, a high 3, actually. But, yeah, it is what it is. I'm still down. So pretty well where it says what you've gained weight does during Dirty Keto. Yeah, and it was because all the sodium. I mean, you know, my body reacted pretty much exactly as I expected. I didn't get the, uh, <coughs> I didn't get the major weight shed that I was expecting, but uh, I did get, did shed it off, and and it was higher than what, it, I, it was more than what I was losing here. This was a uh, fasting day. That's why that one's a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm ahead of my pace. I'm behind my birthday pace. Try to get that straightened out this week. Um, I'd have to make up, what, four pounds? Can I do that? Yeah, I can do that. So after your scan, you're going to start exercising? Um, Tuesday, I'm okay. going to start exercising. Getting the scan tomorrow. This is Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know if we mentioned that yet. Super Bowl Sunday here. So today, this day is going to be uh, a dirty keto day, and then I'm going to get back on it, carnivore. But I'm going to add in salt if, if my tests come back. Specifically, I'll keep up the salt if my tests come back, showing that I was lacking sodium. Mm-hmm. then I'm definitely going to keep adding salt. But I'm going to do it on the 4th anyway, just just to see without, just to see uh, tested empirically without actually seeing the data. Uh, I'm sure that it's going to match up, though. I'm, I'm pretty certain. Uh, yeah, so the 4th. So it'll be the 4th through, like, the, when it's day 60, uh, we can see here. Day 60 is going to be, come on, come on, you can do it. Day 60, March 2nd will be day 60. And I'll be able to get right in there on March 3rd after I complete day 60 because it's through the week this time, thankfully. I don't have to wait. Man, I'm mad about that. I should have looked at this beforehand. But, well, fuck, I didn't even know that was a plan. Yeah, that Tuesday, I'll be able to get in there and and, uh, get that DEXA scan done. So it'll give an accurate one through day 60. Uh, Yeah, 
that's where we're at on pace. Killing it. As far as the scale goes, we'll see what DEXA scan, DEXA scan says tomorrow.